Okay, can we just stop all current game production? Just go over to the factories that are printing out those discs and just turn off the machines immediately? Because there are just way too many damn games coming out right now. Seriously, it's kind of ridiculous. I was just going through the stuff I have on pre-order between now and the end of the year. So about three months. Listen to this. This is just, just the things I've pre-ordered. I've got Evil Within 2, Shadow of Loot Boxes, Mario Odyssey, Fire Emblem Warriors, my 500th copy of Skyrim, South Park Fractured But Whole, Assassin's Creed Origins, and Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Again, just pre-orders. I'm surely going to be picking up some other stuff, like probably Sonic Fleshy Hands. I ask you, the game developers and publishers, how am I supposed to play all this crap? I mean, Xenoblade 2 is going to be, what, 50 hours just by itself? And Capcom, those sons of bitches, they have to release Monster Hunter World in January. So all of this has to be wrapped up by then because, yeah, once Monster Hunter World comes out, I'm not going to have much time for anything else. Do you think you guys could just think about spreading this stuff out a little bit more? Well, you know, that's what I want to talk about today. The constant rush of holiday releases. Everyone wants to put out their biggest titles around this part of the year. Why? Because humans, for some reason, turn into these troll beasts around this time that will literally kill each other over products. <laughs> We're going to get what we want, and what we want is everything, apparently. So it makes sense to release your games during this time. However, when you have so many games releasing around the same time, stuff is going to get lost in the shuffle. I mean, I didn't even mention heavy hitters that I'm just not interested, like Call of Duty and Battlefront 2, that are still on the way for this year. No one can buy everything, probably not even everything they want. And as a result, we're probably going to see some solid games fail big time in terms of sales. Even though I haven't played it yet, I see this being a big issue, particularly for Fire Emblem Warriors. I really liked Hyrule Warriors, so I've been actually pretty excited for this, but sales in Japan were already down significantly from the release of Hyrule to Fire Emblem, so I expect similar, perhaps even worse results when the game gets a Western release. And I know to the hardcore Fire Emblem fans, that has a lot to do with the greater focus on the newer games, specifically Fates and Awakening, uh, but I think this also has way more to do with Fire Emblem just not being as big of a name, doesn't have even close to the franchise power that Zelda has. I mean, Zelda, come on, it's, Zelda's like right up there with Mario, and Fire Emblem is pretty niche, especially in comparison. And on top of that, all of this other stuff that's coming out, even on the Switch. I mean, if I had to pick between Fire Emblem Warriors and Mario Odyssey, it's like, sorry, Lucina, you're bae and everything, but those Mario nipples are calling me. Luckily, I don't have to make such drastic decisions. And unfortunately, the solution isn't just to spread out the releases, right? As we've already begun that, and while there isn't as much competition, say in January when Monster Hunter releases, the demand isn't as great either. I mean, everyone just spent all of their money on Christmas crap, so they're probably not ready to go out and buy a bunch of games. So sometimes it actually makes more sense just to throw your hat into the ring during the holidays. Now, some games have taken chances that have paid off. Splatoon, for instance. Given the last two releases, it seems they have cemented the summertime is prime time for this franchise. Especially since the series has sold so well. And it does kind of have that summertime feel to it, I guess. So it makes sense. But yeah, I guess really the problem is that there are just too many awesome games in general, which... For the consumer is a good problem to have. I guess it just it makes me kind of sad when the inevitable awesome game doesn't get that level of push and kind of falls through the cracks. And then everyone discovers it a year later when it's discounted to 10 bucks and they're talking about, "Oh my god, I love this. This is one of my favorite games of all time." And, you know, and it's too late by that point. So I really I don't know what the solution is. I mean, to think that Red Dead Redemption 2 was originally supposed to release around this time before it got pushed back. Could you imagine what that release would do to the success of a lot of these games? I'm sure 
Lots of the people working on these titles let out a massive sigh of relief when that happened. And that will be kind of interesting. Red Dead Redemption 2, I believe, is set for a quarter two release for next year now. I could... If I'm wrong, you can correct me in the comments. And I'll be curious to see what its sales are like. I think for games that big, though, it doesn't really matter when they release. I mean, everyone and their dog is going to buy them, so... But games that actually have that much hype behind them are few and far between. I don't know. All I know is there is too much stuff to play. Lots of bunkering in is going to have to happen between now and the end of the year. And with that, this video is a wrap. Let me know your thoughts on the annual rush of holiday releases in the comments. You know, is, do you guys have too many games that you want to buy, but you just either can't afford to buy that many games or uh, don't aren't going to have enough time to play them? Uh, let me know in the comments. As always, I'm John Zakari, and thanks for watching.